It's just before sunrise and we went out this morning to try to photograph Salto Grande here in Torres del Paine National Park and it was like 50 kilometer an hour winds and rain in our face so it was just impossible so we kind of are scrambling to find another spot to photograph sunrise we drove down the road a bit we're gonna hike a little bit to what looks like a cool viewpoint and hopefully get some good light but it is really cloudy this morning wish us luck So we ended up finding this location here and the wind has picked up again and the clouds are kind of overcast. I kind of feel like this trip through Patagonia, we've gotten pretty unlucky with the weather. At least from a photography standpoint, we either got blue skies or kind of overcast. But luckily Patagonia is so beautiful, it doesn't even matter. If the weather's bad for photography, the photos still come out really cool. And that's a really nice thing to have. Now, I'm just finishing up my photography here with a couple long exposures, and then we're gonna move on to some location scouting. Did you make me mate? Yeah, bro. It's almost ready. Mate! Matecito for breakfast, yum. We're hiking right now to Salto Grande, which is the waterfall here. This is actually the second time we've been here today because we got up pre-sunrise to walk down there, but it was just so windy and the rain was coming right in our faces that we gave up on it and went to that other location. Um, but I want to have a look at it in the daytime to kind of scout it out for a potential sunrise shoot tomorrow if the weather's better. So let's wander down that way. That location is really, really cool, and it might actually work for sunset tonight, if not sunrise tomorrow. So we're gonna see what happens with the weather, and right now we're gonna just hike a little bit towards the Cuernos to see if there's another viewpoint. It's windy still, but man, is it ever beautiful here. Summer again! What did you think of that spot? Yeah, it looks great, man. I got an awesome time lapse and I think it could be really cool for sunset. It looks like we have a plan. We'll shoot this um, little lake at sunset and then the waterfall at sunrise, but weather dependent. We'll see what happens with the weather. It changes so quick here in Patagonia. So fast. So fast. So we're gonna like uh, head back to the Wicked Camper and then try to find like a cafe or something, do some work until sunset. It is windy as a mother photographer, but when isn't it in Patagonia? And it looks like the Cuernos are out. 
There's even a little bit of light on them and we're hiking that way. We're gonna go shoot that little lake we found this morning. Um, and hopefully the weather stays off. If it stays like this, it could be spectacular out there. One thing it's definitely gonna be is cold and windy. So we probably need some mate. Nice. Mate is always a good idea. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Monte, Monte, Monte! Remember, drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> We actually got to our location nice and early, like really early, and it looks like it's clearing up for us. We might get some cool light. There's actually some light hitting one of the peaks on Cuernos, and you know the weather here, it can change in a second, but hopefully it's gonna be cool. As I mentioned, we're really early, so I think I'm gonna shoot some time-lapse with the Sony time-lapse app, and just wait for the light. Fingers crossed we get some good light. I think we deserve it after kind of fighting the light for like three weeks. It's really, really windy here at the lake, so I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit scratchy and thrown off. There's nothing I can do to control that. I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm kind of doing here with my photography. We got here like a half an hour ago to search out some compositions. And one of the really important things in landscape photography in a composition is finding a nice anchor. And I found this like dead tree in the water and I'm using that as my anchor. The anchor is the thing that goes in your foreground of your image that ties it all down. And I'm so stoked with this anchor and this scene that I've got here that I'm literally just gonna leave my camera there and wait for the good light and hopefully get a couple cool photos of this scene before moving on and trying some other stuff. Yo, we are back from shooting a bit of a storm kind of came in and killed our fun But I got some cool images actually early in the day So it was pretty good that we went there early because I think the best light was like an hour before sunset. Yeah, for sure How'd you do? Yeah, good man. I got some uh some light kind of coming off the side in the back of the Cuernos and got one good image, I think. So Sweet. happy with that. So this is actually Greg's last night living the camper life. We're gonna celebrate by heating up some empanadas <laughs> and eating empanadas and crashing early because we're gonna be up for one last sunrise here. Hopefully the weather gods are finally on our side. Salto Grande. And we're gonna shoot Salto Grande. So um, we will see you guys tomorrow on tomorrow's episode. And uh, that'll be the last episode you see Greg for a while. And I guess we'll see you there. Peace. Peace.